Hi guys, welcome back to another Tuesday tip video. I'm going to try and make these a more regular thing. Um, in today's video I'm going to show you a really quick way of pulling out highlights on um, your coloured pencil pieces without using any of the usual methods which I have covered before. I will link all the d other methods I use down in the description which include white pencils, um, the best white pencils for layering on top of other colours, the titanium white powder and touch up texture by brush and pencil as well as a video on how to lift highlights using a scalpel or some kind of craft knife. So this is going to be another highlights video. <laughs> this works really well if you have built up quite a lot of layers of pencil um, and you want to pull out some really specific uh, highlights. I've tried this a few times. Um, I do use it mostly with noses um, and occasionally with ears. If I want to pull out really fine particular hairs I will use this method as well. So it's really simple. Just need an embossing tool or a sharp pencil, the end of a paintbrush, something like that and some tape. The tape I use is Scotch Magic Tape. It's acid free so it's not going to damage my paper or my artwork so I just use that and I've got it in a little tape dispenser which is adorable. You take a piece of tape, just a little bit, and you lay it carefully or you hold on to it over the top of your area. I'm not sticking it down to my paper. And then you take the end of your embossing tool or paintbrush or whatever and you can see through roughly um not so much on the video but you can see through it so I can go okay I need to pull out a highlight there and I'm just pressing not very hard just a little bit with the embossing tool on top of the sellotape and I'm trying to do it on some of the darker areas so you'll see more this nose isn't finished so it will look better when done and then you lift it up and you've pulled out some spots of highlights. Now if you put the whole tape down, as you can see, some bits have covered more. So you just want to be really careful when you do this and just try and lift up little spots. I'll see if I can show you a bit better there. But I'm just going to pull out some really tiny little highlights, just like that. And then doing it this way, you can then go back in with your pencils, put in some more little details. and build everything back up again. It's a really good way of pulling out sort of certain spots without affecting the paper at all. So with indenting, you will obviously have a dent in the paper. Using white pencils, you'll have a build up of wax, which kind of makes everything a little bit harder to work on top of in the next layers. And with the touch up texture, you can go over the top of it, but um, I like to use that as a nice final highlight because it keeps the finished bit nice and bright. But you can see there, just how I've done it and I can just use my little bit of tape and just do some small little highlights. So this is a good way of doing it. Um, it's one of my preferred ways because I can do more layers with it than just the one. But yeah, this is just a short little Tuesday video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got anything else you want me to do a little Tuesday tip on, then also please stick that down in the comments so that I can do that as well. But if you've liked this video, please give it a little thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.